If you need to bleed the air out of a system that doesn't have a coolant reservoir and just has this radiator cap, a no-spill funnel like this is really, really necessary and it, it makes it a lot easier. You're able to do it with that one, but this makes it super simple and spill-free and it makes a lot less of a mess. What this reservoir helps with is getting it on the highest point of the car. So this will be filled with coolant and then whenever it's running, it'll burp all the air out because the air is always going to make its way to the highest point of the car. So that's what this helps with. It needs to be at the highest point and that's why this works. It comes with a whole bunch of different fittings that fit all kinds of different radiator caps. So you don't have to worry about it not fitting yours. These two are what we need for our radiator cap. This one slides on and then this is what seals it. You wanna do this while your engine is cool. You do not wanna do it while it's hot because coolant is gonna be really hot and you could burn yourself. So take the fitting that is correct, put it in that hole there and then take your cap slide it over and twist it in place. Take the funnel and slide it on. A nice feature of this funnel is its no spill capability. This stick right here on top is what keeps it from spilling. So while you still have some coolant in here, you can put the stick in there, which plugs that hole, and then you can just lift it off without any coolant coming out. If you have full strength coolant, it's important that you mix it in a 50-50, you'll get a lot more out of it and it actually performs better. So we're going to pour it into this beaker and then use distilled water, which we got from our dehumidifier. It's a lot cheaper that way, so we can get an accurate reading. Here I went a little bit over 500 milliliters, so I'll go a little bit over 1,000 milliliters. Pour in the coolant. Just let this keep draining in until there's a level here where it won't drain in anymore. Eventually this will start filling up. Now we've got this for the most part filled up and we'll start the engine that'll start moving the air around, start belching it out. And we have a reservoir of coolant in here that's higher than all the coolant on the car. So that's where all the air is gonna come up to. We'll start it up, let it run and get all the air out. Now we're just gonna let this sit and let all the air work up towards this point. We're going to wait till the engine warms up more, the thermostat opens up, because we, we've seen a few bubbles, but we want to make sure it's all out. And we can actually see some of that older coolant mixing with the newer stuff. It's a good rule of thumb not to mix different colors of coolant together, but if you're unsure and you need to add that, if you have a separate container, you can mix them in a separate container. If you have the stuff from your car, you can put a little bit in here, and then the stuff you're gonna add, you could also put in here, and if it gels, that's not a good sign. You would never want to put that in your car, but if it still stays perfectly fine, you probably could go ahead and put it in your car, but as just a good rule of thumb, don't mix colors. Now as the thermostat's opening up and the engine's warming up, I'm starting to see some more bubbles come through. We're probably gonna run this engine for about 10 minutes just to make sure all of that coolant is worked through and all the air gets pushed up to the highest point. Before we had this funnel, it was really hard to get the air out. In fact, we've taken it to the mechanic and that's where we found out about this funnel. It's really easy to use and it does a really good job. You can see the temperature is running at operating temperature and that's where you're gonna get most of your air out. If you push a little bit on the accelerator, I'm just idling the RPMs at about 2,000. That brings the speed of your water pump up, which pumps more coolant through the system and you get more air out. It's been running for 15 or 20 minutes now. We can go ahead and put our plunger in there and there's no more bubbles take off the funnel and there will be a little bit that will spill out but not much and just remember that this stuff is hot so you don't want to get it on you. That's it. Mark this bottle here as 50-50 so we can remember that it's already mixed. Just pour, put this on top and then pull out the plunger. And just pull the plunger and it will drain out. Well it was a little tight but it's super convenient. Carefully with a rag we're going to take off that cap there in our connector and then reinstall our fresh OEM cap. That makes the job a lot easier.
if there was air in the system, the engine would overheat, but it's doing great and everything's running smoothly.